this is Jennifer and I have another book review for you. So this time we're looking at The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Now that author should be very familiar to you if you're in a middle grade library. She has a number of series. This is a new series for her, The Greystone Secrets. This is book number one. The second book, The Deceivers, is already also available. Um, this book is on the 2021 Texas Blue Bonnet list, so it's designed for middle grades. It is almost 400 pages, so it is a, a thick kind of novel. Um, so I would I would say fifth grade, probably um, it might be a little overwhelming for a third grader just because of the length. It falls into the supernatural mystery adventure um, genre and has some interesting twists and turns. So if you look at the picture on the front, you see a top image of a house and then a mirror image at the bottom with three children. This picture is super important. So in this story, we have these three children. Their names are Chess, Emma, and Finn, and they are 12, 10, and 8. They live with their mom. They're, she's a single mom. The dad has died. She works from home. One day while they're at school, um, a set of kids gets kidnapped, a set of kids who were the same age and whose names are Rocky, Emma, and Finn. Now, I probably should have told you that Chess is actually short for Rochester and Rocky, his name is also Rochester. He just uses a different nickname. So their mom is freaking out about this experience. Uh, the fact that three very much like her kids, these three kids have been kidnapped have disappeared. And so the mom immediately goes on a business trip, business trip. Right. Um, and soon we discover that there is a portal in the basement of the Greystones house to another universe. And so that's the picture that you see in the front. Um, the parents were involved in a resistance movement movement in the other universe. And so after the father was killed, the mom has brought the children into this, their current world and put other people at risk. So the story then becomes them going back and forth between the two worlds, trying to find mom who is missing, making friends, trying to figure out what's going on, trying to save the other children that, that have been kidnapped. Um, so you have quite a lot of fantasy mystery going on. One of the things that I think is super interesting, the chapters are really kind of short, only a couple, three, four page long chapters, which is great for this long of a book. And they're told from different perspectives. So the first chapter is told from Chess's voice, right? And we get his personality. Second chapter is Emma. The third chapter is Finn. And then it starts to do that in repeat. So every other chapter, every chapter is a different student kid's voice. Chess, Emma, Finn, Chess, Emma, Finn, throughout the whole story. Um, in the next story, uh, the Deceivers, which I have also read, um, you get other voices as well, but it is that same interchange of, of people's perspectives. Um, this is a super cute little book. I think you, if you have it, if you are a school that does Texas Blue Bonnet, you probably have a lot of kids that have read this book and liked this book. Um, it's definitely an enjoyable read. But no, it's the beginning of a series. So if you're going to start it, you've got to commit to the rest of it. The Deceivers is out now. There's another book coming. Um, not don't remember when or the title, but it is in the works. So um, if you want a super cool mystery supernatural read, try The Strangers by Margaret Haddix. Happy reading.